Hi friends. I just returned back at Granny's house um, with some new additions to the family. So I'm kind of a YouTube junkie and I'm also a Craigslist junkie. So I'm always scouring for good deals on Craigslist. And yesterday I saw Phoenix Chicks for six dollars. I just couldn't pass it up. Squeaker has been wanting Phoenix Chicks for um, a long time now. One of her previous schools had had a Phoenix as her mascot and she's wanted one ever since. Some of you probably know that Phoenixes are the ones with the super long tail. So here's our four new babies. Let's see if we can get them. They're a little bit shy. Say hello. Squeaker's not home right at the moment, so when she gets home with Daddy, we'll have her name them. We don't know what we have yet, but a couple of them have some long feathers already. Let's see if I can get them to move around a little bit. See this one right in front? Kind of see that the tail feathers are a little bit long. That white one looks like it's got slightly shorter feathers. So anyways, this is the new addition to the to the family. A couple of things we're going to do is we're going to keep them in this cage for a while. One for quarantine reasons and um because obviously I, the home, the place that these came from i don't know the lady so i don't know what kind of condition all of her birds were in so far these guys look happy um they were chirping away in the car they look kind of tired and warm now but um so we'll we'll spend the next uh seven to ten days in here and it also give them a little bit time to get bigger because the other chickens are are growing pretty fast so they're almost full grown i did want to say this is the best brooder system we have come up with we have another one that has um that we put a little bit of uh the smaller mesh around because when we had quails these these holes were a little bit too wide you can see i can fit two fingers in there and itty bitty quail could fit through there but um it has a drawer that slides out Oops. slide out and so what we do is we put pine pellets here on the bottom and we've layered it with a little bit of plastic over the years we've learned that um, having the plastic helps keep the drawer from rusting and we put these little cage cups on for their water and food I, I will have another one for for food I just didn't put it on for the trip and um, and you can also set a light on top if you want to when they are like if they're only just new hatchlings and they're only you know less than a week old i'll put newspaper just on the cage while they're learning to walk on the floor if you can see that the the, the mesh floor there but then once they're about a week old or so and they're pretty healthy and strong they do fine on on the on the wire floor the mesh floor like that so um I also stopped at the feed store and got them a bag of chick starter. So, most of you know that, you know, young chicks need chick starter. Don't start them with layer feed because the protein's too high and the calcium's too high. Or the protein's too low and the calcium is too high. So, get a bag of chick starter. Hopefully, someday on our farm, we'll be able to grow. A lot of our own grains and have um, a more natural feed for them but this is where we're at right now and um, that it'll help them grow as much as possible and get produce eggs for us in other random updates the lawnmower that mr. Cadence fixed is doing awesome as you can see I've been mowing a lot this morning and um, that simple fix that he did, if you saw our video about it, um, was perfect. It has not been a problem since. 
and we added a different seat because the other seat was extremely uncomfortable. I can mow for a lot of hours, but not in an uncomfortable seat. So we splurged and got a good seat for it. And um, let's go do an update of the, the ducks and chickens. All right, friends, we're in the chicken yard and Addie's with me. Quick update on her. She's doing great. She's still growing. We're in the chicken yard together. She just pulled, stole a peach from the chickens. But um, she's been really good with the birds. It took a little time. We still always keep an eye on her and the birds together because um, she still just gets playful. I don't think she wants to hurt them. I think she wants to play. Um, so all playtime is supervised still at this point. My blueberries are still growing. See what these birdies are up to so you can see they're getting big there are feathers everywhere one difference between the chickens and the ducks that we've noticed is the ducks really shed a lot of feathers it kind of looks like a chicken got caught out here but they didn't everybody's happy and healthy and nobody's molting, but there are feathers all over the ground. Can you guys come out? Huh? Can you come out and play? See, it's nice and cool under the coop. So, our chicken feeder is working. I don't know if you saw the... The, um... <clears throat> video where we made it. I changed it a little bit and we're gonna actually change it again but the smaller pipe did work so a little bit cl too close here so we changed it a little bit we just took this one piece we didn't cut it or anything and stuck it in so that the collar keeps it from folding in and you can see that there's food in there the chickens use it um, and we will make a bigger one for the ducks. The duck's head cannot fit in there. All right. Where are the ducks? There's one. That one's Squeaker. Squeaker the duck, not Squeaker the kid. See, look at the feathers everywhere. There's the other one. Still nameless because we're still thinking. I think we do have two females. But sure enough, if I name that other one a female name, I'm going to wind up with a boy. So we're just holding off for a little bit. Quick look inside the coop. This morning I cleaned the coop. So nice fresh bedding, clean water, clean food, clean nesting boxes, which they're not using yet because they're not old enough to lay any eggs. No eggs yet. You might recognize that tray that was in there. That used to be inside the duck house, and they never sat in it. So we took it out. There's Addie. Still eating peaches. All right, let's go check out the Hugo culture. All right, now we're down. There was the chicken yard up there under the big tree. Now we're down here in the garden by the Hugo culture. Basically, we have given up on the Hugo culture for this year. There simply just wasn't enough nitrogen material. I kind of knew that building it, but I was kind of hoping it would work out because we had put a layer of um, grass clippings in the middle, but it just wasn't a big enough layer. So you can see we, <clears throat> we did some kale right here. And that didn't grow and we did potatoes which when it was raining they were growing and now they're just little dead stalks which I could try to to 
pull them up and they might be under there, but I have a feeling they just didn't grow long enough. Not based on my past experience. Some more kale. We tried to do a little bit of lettuce, which is actually holding together until it stopped raining, but there's just too much wood chips and not enough soil in here. Let's see if I can pull this apart a little for you. Let's try to get the shadow out of it. There we go. So it's still wet on the inside. It hasn't rained for, ooh, I don't know what that is. It hasn't rained for, I don't know, four or five days. Is that a wasp or something? That's some kind of egg that I really don't want to mess with. Um, but you can see that it's wet. So it does good with that. There just wasn't enough layering. But we threw it together very quickly. And um, with what we had available... And next year, if we throw some grass clippings and nitrogen on it, nitrogen type uh, products on it, meaning anything green, not meaning chemicals, um, then next year it'll be amazing. But this year, we just had too much carbon, too much sawdust, too many wood chips, and not enough things to make soil. We also tried to plant some tomatoes, which are kind of making it, but something keeps coming by and nipping off their tops, which we knew was going to be a problem. So we were kind of hoping it would outgrow it, but it didn't. So here's one. But anyways, that's about it for the updates. Addie has ditched me for the shade way over there. Focus. There it goes. So anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. You can see I've been busy cutting lots and lots of grass today. And um, just wanted to give you a few updates. So I've got the chicks in the house. I got them some food. I have a better, an actual chick feeder downstairs for them, but I just wanted to get them some food really quick and I didn't feel like going into the basement right now to go get it after hauling them in here. <laughs> so, I thought might, you might actually like to see them moving around instead of sleeping in the shade. See their tail feathers? That one's got a pretty long tail right there. I have a feeling the white one is a female. So if you look up phoenix chicks, you can give them some special food for their, more of like a game file food for their plumage. But I just wanted to give you this one last little final update so you can see him moving around, eating and drinking very happily. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.